Everyone, everyone has a Darth Vader impression. I find that it works really well if you say hope kind of like that, you know, like hope. But anyway, why does he sound like that? I know he's more machine now than man, but why? Let's take a deep breath and go deeper. Okay, so let's hear that famous wheeze for a second. Yeah, it sounds like the Sith Lord's breathing is labored, like his suit is compensating for some damage to his lungs. At least we know from Star Wars sound designer Ben Burtt that this part was intentional. The concept for the sound of Darth Vader came about from the first film. The guy that made the lightsaber the script noise. described him as some kind of a strange dark being who was in some kind of life support system that he was breathing strange, that maybe you heard sounds of mechanics or motors. He might be part robot, he might be part human, we really didn't know. The exact reason that Vader is breathing like this isn't explained. He's supposed to be a mysterious figure in the films, at least until the prequels ruined it. So leave it up to a bunch of nerds slash scientists to figure out why Anakin actually needs help breathing. He was the chosen one! <laughs> a few years ago, some doctors published a paper in the Journal of Anesthesiology using Darth Vader as a case study for chronic respiratory failure. What they noticed is that Darth Vader's breathing is a bit slow. It's around 13 to 16 breaths per minute, and it increases with stress, like he's fighting to get some breath, like when he found out that the planes for the Death Star were missing up to 25 breaths per minute. And that was the major clue. If Darth Vader is fighting to get breath into his lungs, then his suit is probably functioning as some sort of BiPAP machine or bi-level positive airway pressure system. And these machines help people with chronic respiratory conditions breathe easier by changing the pressure of the air outside of their mouths. To do this, the machines create an area of high pressure outside of your mouth when you are breathing in and an area of low pressure outside of your mouth when you are breathing out. We already went through in a previous video that air always wants to go from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. So those machines make it easier for air to enter and exit your lungs by changing these pressures. Although it's probably never gonna force you out of a hole and into space. If Vader's suit was a giant mechanized BiPAP machine, then it actually would explain a few scenes in the films. Remember when Luke took off his father's helmet at the end of Return of the Jedi? Listen to it for a second. Yeah, that sounds just like pressure releasing, doesn't it? Well, if Vader's suit was maintaining a constantly varying state of pressure inside of it, then that's exactly what it would sound like if you broke that seal. Remember when Vader was chilling without his mask on in this pressurized chamber? Well, if it is pressurized, then it could be like something uh, akin to a hyperbaric chamber, the same kinds of chambers that we use to help more oxygen get into a person's lungs than it otherwise can. Right there. So why does Vader need a suit like this? What damaged his lungs? Surprise lightsaber! Remember the prequels? No. Come on, you remember the- no. Wait, just... No. All right. No. Well, in some movie, Anakin is gravely injured and left to die on a volcanic world called Mustafar. The authors of the anesthesiology paper point out that if you were in the same position, breathing in superheated particle-filled air for long enough, you'd have lifelong tissue damage done to your lungs. You could get COPD or fibrosis or even tissue scarring in your lungs. Apparently, having the high ground doesn't only mean having a leg slicing advantage. It means not having to breathe in that hot volcanic gas that can scar you for life and turn you into a slow, wheezing Sith Lord. And also a Hayden Christensen ghost. There it is. So Darth Vader breathes like that because he is a walking BiPAP machine. His armor protecting him from not just lightsaber swipes and blaster fire, but also complete respiratory failure from the inhalation of hot gases and volcanic debris on Mustafar. It almost makes him more of a tragic figure and the authors of the anesthesiology paper think that it makes him a great case study for medical students who wanna learn more about these problems. And I totally agree. You can learn science from fantasy. Yeah.
this. Look at science. Me. At Blistifer ass on Twitter. Flash picks up people and then speeds away from danger. Would the sudden speed have negative side effects on a person that he's saving? Yes, absolutely. Unless you are accelerating and decelerating in a way that feels maybe like a roller coaster ride or a car, you're gonna be pulling enough G's to go unconscious and die. Or if you're going like the speed of light suddenly, like the flash does, you would turn into jelly. Jelly.